Hi guys, I'm back. Feeling quite a bit better from uh, that nasty cold or virus, whatever it was I had. Uh, I think it lasted for, oh, I don't know, a month. But uh, forgive me if I pause too long sometimes. My, my head is killing me. <laughs> um, I don't remember if I told you guys this or not, but I fell on the ice skating rink uh, several weeks back. Um, it was for the girls for their birthday. Um, Ella and Alyssa took taking them uh, ice skating for the first time. I had been before, but they had not. And uh, everything was going great till we were headed off the ice. And um, I ended up kind of getting yanked down. Um, <laughs> and I hit my head on the ice so hard it bounced off and hit the ice again. And uh, that has to be the hardest I have ever hit my head. And I've had concussions before, but um, this one really just uh, took the cake. Um, yeah, I had a concussion and whiplash and, and uh, after about a week or two, after about a week, I guess, my shoulder and my neck, my shoulders and my neck were hurting worse than they've ever hurt before. I couldn't move. There was, you know, there, there were days where I couldn't move a muscle. I was in such pain. So, uh, still trying to get rid of the headache from all of that. But I wanted to give uh, a try to not using a torch and not using silicone because uh, I've had several of you lately who have asked me um, for some alternatives to using the torch and the silicone and the Floetrol because they're toxic um, and or flammable uh, and there are, there are some instances where you cannot use these products. So I looked at a lot of videos online. It's hard to find a video um, of this kind of painting without something that's going to be toxic or dangerous. Uh, I hate to say that, but it's true. <laughs> um, and please correct me if I'm, I'm wrong here. Um, if any of you guys know somebody out there who is painting and creating very successful cells, without using a torch or Floetrol or silicone. Uh, I'd really love to know about it. But uh, we're gonna try the Liquitex pouring medium, uh, the Hask Argan Oil, and then the three apple barrel colors that I always love to use, Laguna, Cranberry, and Wild Iris. Uh, we are not using any Floetrol, no silicone, no torch. So we're gonna give it a go. Uh, fingers crossed. I did do a test run and it came out eh, okay. I'm not totally excited about um, the way it turned out, but not not terrible. So we're gonna we're gonna try again and uh, really keep our fingers crossed this time. So all I have in here is paint, pouring medium, eh, about 30% pouring medium, and then the argan oil which has dimethicone in it as opposed to silicone and in the first try my paints were a bit thin and i think that's partly because the pouring medium is thinner than my floetrol so trying to uh, tried to thicken up the paint a little bit which is adding a little more paint to it instead of pouring medium. And if I accidentally say Floetrol in all of this, instead of pouring medium, I do not mean it. There's no Floetrol. I do have a bad habit of losing my train of thought and saying, saying the wrong thing. But hopefully not in this case. And I have no idea what order these are all going in. Just kind of pouring them all in there. And this is going to be too much paint for this little bitty canvas. This is a six by six canvas board. But I wanted to, because the first one I really feel like needed more paint. And even my white is still too thin. I'm not happy about that, but. I think this argan oil thins out my paint. 
I've never had trouble getting thicker paint before, but getting the right consistency. But for some reason, this it just thins the paint out. I, I mean, my not it's not the argan oil. I think it's the pouring medium. It just thins my paint more than than Floetrol does. So I'm gonna let it sit right there for a second. I'm gonna show you um, the previous one while that's sitting there for just a second. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, well enough. But you can see like right here, we have some really nice cells going on, but these started off as small, like this size, and then they just grew and grew and grew. And I don't know if that's the pouring medium or the argan oil. So, <laughs> fingers crossed yet again. Pretty pattern. And as you can see, we are getting cells popping up. Set that right there. Just let that. They are expanding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Want, it's wanting to go off this side. I really don't want it to go off the edge until, until we're ready. I want to blow on the surface because that will um, pop the air bubbles. Since we're not using heat on this one. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it because I can see these are just getting bigger and bigger. And I really don't want them to can, to get too big. Um, and I'm going to use a side catcher. Now this is, this is so pretty, but I'm going to lose it. And this is just gorgeous right here. We're going to try and tilt it very slowly. But I don't have any paint on the edges, so you know what? I think I'm going to put some paint on those edges. I don't want to lose everything. And it's not going to matter what color I'm using. This is just to get it wet. So the paint will flow off easily, and we don't have any problems. I dripped in the middle of it. That was good. <laughs> Let's have to pour that part off. Nobody will be the wiser. And while I'm doing this, I just want to thank everybody for all your well wishes. Um, I know I've probably complained a lot more than I should on this channel about my headaches and well, whatever else is going on. I don't know. But you guys are so sweet and wonderful to me. Um, and I really consider y'all my friends, um, and some of you are just amazing people. I'm sure you all are in your own way, but, um, some of you have really, really just been, you know, super wonderful. And I just want you guys to know that I keep you in my heart and I appreciate each and every one of you every single day. And I wish you peace and happiness and love and every great thing in the world. All right, so maybe we won't use the... I really want that to come off there. I don't want any more to go off that direction, but that's, that's pretty. I think we're going to see if we can tilt that corner off. Without losing a lot of it over here. I'm going to stick my finger there. So that's just an ugly corner. Okay, so there's that corner, and you can see how big the cells are stretching out. And again, I, I hate to say this, but I don't know if it's the pouring medium or if it's the argan oil. Because um, I I haven't had a lot of success with with pouring medium, and that's why I don't use it. You know, use what use what works for you, so. I never, I used the pouring medium early on and did not like it, which is kind of a good thing for me because it costs more than Floetrol does. So I don't mind that it doesn't work for me. All right, we want it to come off of this corner here, but not much. Might just take my finger to it. Because it's, it's pouring off of here. I don't want it to go off of there so badly.
I just want to get rid of that corner there. Now the center of it looks pretty, but the rest of it not so much. I don't like this right there. So we're gonna bring it back this way, maybe. Maybe we can get rid of some of that. Okay. I think now just blowing on it to um <clears throat> get the air bubbles. Okay. That one turned out better than the first one, I think. This middle section, if I could get the whole painting to look like that, I'd be happy. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so I would say that this was relatively a success. Um, just blow it a little bit more, pop some more air bubbles. It ought to bring up some more, um, a few more cells maybe. like some more in here <laughs> and some more in here and if we took the torch to it it would you know they would appear but that is not this kind of experiment so all right so I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna call this one a success and uh, so those of you out there who are afraid to use the torch can't use the torch can't use the flow trawl don't want to use silicone all of that um, try this out. I mean, that's a pretty little painting. Now, I don't love every aspect of it, but I think, I think I'm happy enough with it that I would maybe try this again. I don't know. Um, but you can see where I've popped the air bubbles. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but you've got a few more spots, a few more cells that are sort of, you know, popping up. Um, so blow on the painting. Don't mix the oil in too much, I think, and don't use too much pouring medium. I think for this, you still are going to want your paint relatively thick. Um, I usually do mine honey consistency, uh, kind of a thick honey. But um, we're, we're gaining some more cells through here, I see. There's a few little spots through here. I'd like some more to come up here. That kind of bothers me just because it looks like a giant eye, a little fish mouth or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's get you down. While my yakking, I forgot to get y'all down so you could see. That part I love. You know, I love these little white veins going through the paint. But you can see there's some cells through there. Can get you in focus. There we go. And you know, all of those they were cells until they turned into veins. I'm sorry, I'm a little shaky. Okay, and that's just I don't know. I just I love the veins. And guys, keep in mind, um, my color is a little bit off. Look at all those little cells through there. I like those. My color is a bit off. Um, my phone just does not like reds. So anything that's tinted red or pink, uh, it's going to look really bright on the camera. It's more of a, I won't say it's more of a salmon pink, but it's getting close to that. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys can try it out yourself. And I hope that those of you who, um, like I said before, cannot use a torch or silicone or flow trawl, um, I hope this is going to work good for you. Um, I really do like this little painting. It's a pretty little painting, although I think I would probably just crop this part out and do something with it because I, I like that part the best. But the turquoise in here sort of balances out. And um, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Try it yourselves. See if it works for you. Do some experimenting. Make your paint thin uh, with a little more pouring medium. Make it thicker with a little less pouring medium. Try doing one drop of argan oil. Try doing six drops of argan oil. 
Um, the more oil you put in there though, the uh, messier it's going to be to clean up. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, and I really don't think that you need a lot of this oil. Um, when I use silicone, I use one teeny tiny drop for a lot of paint. So, uh, you know, go on the less is more side. And good luck. Let me know if you guys try this out, how it works for you. Um, you can always send me photos in my email. I'd love to see y'all's artwork. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. I love you all. Um, and thank you for those of you who have donated to my channel. Um, you guys are few and far between, so I love you dearly. Um, thank you. Uh, you know, for you guys to donate to my channel is just super, super awesome. It's just such a kind gesture. I really appreciate it. Um, and, you know, I understand if you can't donate to my channel. One way you can without actually giving me money is you can watch the ads. If you watch the ads, I earn like a penny or two of revenue. And I tell you what, I've always told my girls a penny here, a penny there, it all adds up. So much appreciated if you guys watch the videos. Um, go to the link down below in the show more part of the description. My uh, PayPal link is down there. My email, I mean, uh, my, uh, my email's down there too as well. Um, also, my website is there. It's heatherwrightart.weebly.com. If you click on that link, it is a trusted site. It's just the, a lot of the computers, like especially Apple and Dell, do not like to um, let you visit that site. All you got to do is when it says it's a, uh, what is it, not trusted site or whatever, you go down below and mine says advanced. If you click on the advanced, when it, it's supposed to give you like a reason, um, it, it'll pop up. You scroll down to the very bottom and you can click go directly to site and it'll take you to my website. Just go check out my you know, some of my older um, paintings and stuff and, um, you know, email me if you see something you like and you'd like to purchase it. Um, I just sent a painting out to, <laughs> sent a painting out to California and um, she liked it so much she bought a second one and it is currently in transit right now. It's supposed to be there already so I'm a little, a little nervous but, um, but she should get that this week and I hope she likes it as much as I do. I love the, love the paintings that she chose so. Okay, enough with all that chit-chat. Y'all have an awesome, amazing, wonderful, super fantastic day. Wherever you're on the planet, I hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. See you later. Bye.